Hey everybody, this is Jose Heredia with ADJ. We're here with none other than Tom Ferret from American Audio who is here to introduce a brand new product for American Audio. Tom, what is it? Hi Jose, this is the 10 MXRBT. It's brand new. What we've done is taken uh, conventional technology and some newer technology and combined them all in an easy to use format. So um, you'll, as you see our setup here, we have one turntable hooked up and one CD player hooked up. And this is a three channel analog mixer. Um, it combines all the great features of a good analog mixer, has a nice crossfader in it, it has one mic channel with two band EQ and talkover, and then you have your three line inputs which offer uh, three line inputs, two phono inputs uh, with three band EQ with kills, gain control, and then here's the new part we added mm -hmm. is Bluetooth connectivity nice. to it as well. So you can uh, connect your Bluetooth device to your mixer and we have XLR outputs, so I can go to my professional uh, powered speakers and I'm all set. So it's a way to control your music remotely, walk around the function, do different things, stream music, use uh, DJ applications, wow. play music from your phone. We'll talk about some more of the applications in just a minute. But sure. Well, and also it comes in at a great price point as well. So it's not going to break the bank. So right. for some people this might be great as a backup system or to allow them to take all the gear they have and create something new where they just want to stream music uh, and have a professional mm -hmm. uh, interface between their speakers and their Bluetooth where they can EQ it, they can cue it up, mm -hmm. they can adjust the trim control to get the best sound possible. So. Right, well this is a very unique product for sure and uh, some of the applications I can think of for sure are, are very diverse. For one, I could uh, essentially control the music from the dance floor, right? Do you have an example of how we can do that? Um, you know I do, Jose. <laughs> it's funny you ask. Um, I have my iPad mini right here cool. and I've connected just through the Bluetooth. Um, it's very easy to connect. You have the pairing button right here. Just hold it down until it starts blinking. Uh, the 10MXR will show up under your devices, mm -hmm. under your Bluetooth. Just like if you're connecting a speaker at home or your headset in your car or anything. Very easy to connect. Um, we have the antenna on here and the range we've, in the warehouse, we've walked pretty over 100 feet and had it work fine, but results may vary. Um, and I'm just using a DJ app. Uh, actually, DJ algorithm app right now. There we go. Oh, nice. So you have it paired up for channel one and channel two, or is it just no, one it's channel? No, just coming through one channel. One so channel. I'm doing everything right on here. So, wow. So I'm going to hit the sync button. That's going to make some people mad. Oh there. no! Don't <laughs> do <know>. that. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's why you don't hit the sync button. <laughs> So, <laughs> you got to stay away from oh, the thing. Oh, terrible. Right I would have been fired right then. Yeah. Right. So, no, but um, actually you could actually mix on the, the, the iPad without any wires. That's you're exactly pretty amazing. Right. Or my phone. And get this, if I'm mixing conventionally, mm -hmm. I'm right here with this. You're stepping away from the DJ booth. I'm way back here. I can go yeah. have a sandwich or something. <laughs> I can walk around. So that, and that we're having some fun with it right now. I'm actually going nice. to stop this. So. Oh, wow, that, that platter wind down, that was pretty cool. That's a really cool effect. So that is pretty amazing. Another uh, application I, I could see it happening is being able to set it up in a separate area of say a lounge or outside in a foyer and be able to stream music via a service. And uh, here's an example of how you could do that. Just like nice. that. So you're running an app called? I'm just using Pandora, but there's a bunch of them out there. We're not endorsing any no, of them. No, of Spotify, um, just a bunch of them. But mm -hmm. again, everybody's eating dinner. Doesn't yeah. this sound, aren't I doing a great job right now? Doesn't yes. this sound great? <laughs> I feel like relaxing and having a martini. Do you have kids, Jose? I do. Son and daughter? Two sons. Two sons. Okay, so we're going to go to, how old are they? <laughs> one is 19 and one is seven. Oh my God, you're so young to have yeah. kids that, that uh, <laughs> mature. So let's go in the future. We'll say six months from now, your son's getting married uh -huh. and he asked you to pay for the whole thing and you were happy yeah. to do it. And uh, I'm, I'm the DJ at that event. And let's just paint a picture right now. Okay. It's the end of the night. Jose's been dancing all night mm -hmm. uh, to his favorite Latin artist and um, everything's starting to wind down and he's sitting back there drinking his favorite beverage. I think it's probably Gatorade, Gatorade or something yes, in a nice course. glass with some mm -hmm. ice. And 
he's looking out over the festivities and he, he's feeling really good about the night. It's something that he'll remember forever. Mm -hmm. And also, Jose's the one who's paying me. Of course. Uh, so I want to make sure that he's happy, like all mm -hmm. professionals do. And so I'm going to go over to um, Jose and I'm going to say, Jose, how do, you, how do you feel about the night? And hopefully he's going to give me some, some good feedback mm -hmm. and say, you know what, everything was just fine. And I'm sitting next to him and I'll have my favorite beverage with me. And then I might say something like, what song would you like to hear? Is there anything? And I'm going to go right on my phone or my mm -hmm. iPad and... Be able to search for a song or yeah. uh, an artist? Yeah. Uh -huh. I just did. I just brought up some Harry Connick Jr. So sitting here, we're going to enjoy our favorite beverage together. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he smokes cigars or not, but I'm going to be <laughs> able to sit with him and play his and favorite, request maybe it. some Frank Sinatra or whatever, and play some requests for him nice. while we just sit there and talk about the event. And nice. that's just another way we can do a, a better job at making the event more special. That is really cool because they're not coming to you for requests, you're going to them You're going for to them, that, yeah. And that separates you as far as service and puts you at a higher income bracket for a, for a lot of DJs. That yeah. is a really unique service. I wow. spoke to a DJ the other day, we were talking about this, and, and I love the feedback we get, and that's one mm -hmm. of the things we're really proud of at ADJ and American Audio, is we do shows all over the country, and we do a lot of things. We get a lot of feedback from yeah. people, and I was talking to someone about this, and saying, how would you use this? And one of the ways he brought up that I thought was so cool, um, and he's a charges a premium for his mm -hmm. services, he's very professional, does an awesome job, and he said, you know what, if I was doing a Sweet 16 or maybe a Quinceanera, I would buy an inexpensive tablet, and in my initial meeting uh, with the young person and their mm -hmm. parents and all that, I'd say, you know what, give me a list of your uh, 30 favorite songs. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure I have them at your event. Yeah. And he'd write that list down. And then he'd load those up in an inexpensive tablet. And during the event, he'd walk over to the, the young lady or the young man and say, here you go, I'm going to let you control the music for a little bit. Ah, no and way. have them play their favorite songs, because <laughs> kids know how to work these things oh, way yeah. better than we do. And They're then, masters at it. Yeah, and then and now you can get a tablet for a good one for 150 bucks, 100 yes. bucks. You know, uh, it doesn't have to be the greatest name brand in the world. Yeah. But um, and then at the end of the night, you know what he would do with the the father, mother, and the, the person who's the the center of the event. He when they go to hand it back, he'd say, you know what? That's my present to you. Oh, how sweet! And then they have now their songs they played at the event. As a, and he probably would put a st something on oh, there. A really cool sticker of, a cool of, sticker. of marketing or branding. Branding, mar uh -huh. maybe the screensaver. Yeah. It's his DJ company or something, and now or his event company. They're going to use that tablet every time, and they're going to think about you and that event. And they're, who are they going to show? They're going to show their friends or family, hey, look what I got as a look present. Look what I the got. DJ How cool is that? got me this really cool tablet with the music that I picked, that I played at the party. You know what's great is we started off this video talking about a basic mixer and now we're talking about ways to make events even better. Yes. And the neat part about it is there's not many products, not any mixers that I really know of and mm -hmm. I don't know everything out there, but mm -hmm. um, that will allow you to, to do that. And this is priced where anybody um, can add it to their system or make it the centerpiece of their system. So if you have an elaborate system now and you're using controllers and all that, that's totally cool. You could hook this right up to one of the line inputs or the auxiliary inputs. Um, what's neat about this again is, and there's a lot of things that'll let you stream Bluetooth and little mm -hmm. Bluetooth receivers and all that, but how many will let you have three band EQ, gain control, mm. cue it up, fade, you know, mix it with other things, yes. have a volume control that's a fader, and look professional, out, and, look professional yeah. and not look like, hey, they just got that from the local electronic stores or, and it's yeah. a little Or from the swap meet. Yeah. Or from the swap meet or yeah. whatever. And so, and you get the same good sound. You know, you don't have, sometimes people go, oh, I want Bluetooth, I need to get an inexpensive speaker because that's all that offers it right mm -hmm. now. And those are great for a lot of things. But this is a way that, I've got some awesome speakers, they sound mm -hmm. great. I want to have that same continuity, mm -hmm. you know, throughout my event. So, wow. anything else you can think of? I Tom, think we've covered a lot of stuff. I think you brought in a very uh, special, a uh, really nice uh, product to have for DJs out there who do all sorts of events, not just weddings or quinceañeras, corporate parties, uh, even clubs I would imagine would be great, restaurants, lounges, even I would even go as far as uh, sports clubs or Zumba classes would benefit from this greatly. So you can use the existing equipment, you don't have to switch out speakers, amplifiers, you just plug in the mixer, hook up your Bluetooth device and you're set to go.
That is the American <laughs> Audio 10MXR VT. Go ahead uh, to our website at adj.com to find out more information.